Hi guys, it's Krista with Playing With A Purpose. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. I was putting away all of our materials for the month of May and I couldn't put this one away without showing you guys how awesome it was. This is a game called Flower Power. We use this through our plant unit. You could also use this game when you're studying color theory. The game comes with four wooden boards and they all have secondary colors on them. And the basis of the game is that the children will roll the dice, which has the primary colors on it. So there's red, yellow, and blue. There's also a happy face and a sad face and an arrow. If they get a sad face, they miss a turn. If they get a happy face, they can choose any color they want. And if they get an arrow, they can swap out a color they don't need. There are blue discs, red discs, and yellow discs. These are plastic little discs. So what the children are trying to accomplish in this game is to find out which two primary colors will make each one of these flowers. So what two colors make orange? So perhaps they're gonna try red and let's just say they get it right the first time and they put the yellow on, it makes orange. I love how it's an exact color match. It's a great visual way to teach the children how two primary colors make a secondary color. So the same is true for if you're trying to make purple, they might roll a red and then a blue, but you can see how amazing they made the match to be. So there's no question if they're right. So if they tried a different color, so let's say they tried pink with yellow, you can see that they were wrong because it made orange and they're looking to make purple. So let's say they rolled a blue and then they rolled a yellow, it would make green. And then red and blue make purple. This game is called Flower Power and mine's a European brand, but I believe that Plan Toys makes this as well. And I just think this is a wonderful game. And like I said, you can use it for a plant unit or you could use it for color theory as well. Some of the other things I love about this game is the fact that there are sad faces, which means you miss a turn. This is a skill for children to learn how to handle disappointment and understand that there are disappointments in life. And sometimes it's important that we practice those skills. My personal philosophy is that we're doing an injustice to children when we don't allow them to sometimes lose or have disappointment. It's a really important skill to master and we can't protect them for the rest of their life from disappointment. So I think it's really awesome to practice having these disappointments, even just in a simple board game. And I think it's great that they incorporated a sad face into the dice so that the children can practice that skill. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Krista with Playing With a Purpose. I'll see you next time.